Digital Radio and on 88 to 91 FM, BBC Radio 2. Here we are, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Later. How do you like your eggs in the morning? I like that with a kiss. Kiss. <laughs> You're listening to the Chris Evans Breakfast Show on BBC Radio 2. <laughs> we are ready to chat. We've got another little ditty to play first. And you stopped singing over the music just because you're Cheryl Crow, all right? Now you think, you think these sound like Michael Jackson? I think it sounds so much like him. Okay, and you should know because you toured with Michael Indeed Jackson. Indeed I did. You duetted on many occasions. In, on many occasions. Oh, okay, well I... She says I'm the one. I met Bobby Dabble. Good morning to Barry in his potting shed. Cheryl, are you aware of the phenomenon of the potting shed? I am not. Okay, so we have sheds. Show me in. You know okay, yes, is, I do know what a shed okay. is. So we have sheds at the bottom of the garden. And they're, they're, they're quite intriguing places to be. Some, some are quite secretive, mm. some are otherworldly, ah. you know. Some are quite, um, quite, quite some are... Some like are the witch in the wardrobe. Yes, exactly. No, that's yes. exactly Ex- what they're like. See, see? I was going for Doctor Who, but you went for, for Lewis Carroll instead. Yes, okay. exactly. Is that where they got the idea from the TARDIS from? Is, is there a lawsuit? Is there a potential lawsuit there? Anyway, the point is... Get me a lawyer. Uh, <laughs> Barry's in his potting shed, and he says now on his text, uh, really looking forward to sh- today's guest, especially Cheryl. Oh, Barry. Can you ask her to do her Michael Jackson impression? What well, she's already done. She says I'm the one. <laughs> 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 now, is that easy for you to do? A, because you can sing better than most of us, and B, because you work with him a lot. I did work with him a lot, and um, I don't know why I can do it, except that I loved him. <laughs> See, I him there, I said it. He's our family's favourite. Honestly, we yes. all love Mike Jack. I'm, I, I like him more and more every year. I really yes, do. Yes, and I really like him now as The Weeknd. Okay, you're like, yeah, you love the weekend song, don't you? We play that every Friday this time. Uh, you, you're welcome, any week. Uh, so, no, we, we play Michael Jackson in the garage when we're having a pill competition, uh, which is most Fridays and Saturdays. And uh, his, no, his number ones album, um, uh, you know, you forget some of his number ones, which is sort of incredible. Why? Why? Tell him that is human nature. Why? Why? Yeah. This is fine by me. me that way. This is the Cheryl Crow Jackson jukebox live Aww. here on BBC Radio 2. Do your kids know who he is? They love him. See, I'm having to educate my children. Yeah, well, you need to educate them more They're if like, they don't Mom, need your hair looks so... Why do you have your hair like that? You look so ugly. Yeah, well, but Mum used to duet with Michael Jackson. Now, yeah. this was before your infamous um, never-to-be-released first album. Indeed. <laughs> yes, which can be bought on eBay for like 150 quid or they're, something like that. They're my two favourite facts about you. <laughs> One is that you toured extensively with Michael Jackson, first as a backing vocalist, and then you ended up singing duets with him on a regular basis front of stage. Tell, just tell us. Yes. Me, I know you've told um, us before, but... I we, just can't stop loving you. Like every night with Jacko. Every night. In front of like 65,000 oh, yeah. screaming, crying, fainting fans. I met him a couple of times, worked with him once, uh, nowhere near to the extent you did. And what I found was that he was nothing at all like people thought. He was so diligent. He, I, I, basically, I worked with him in rehearsal for one mm. of the Brit shows. And um, he was in charge of choreographing this particular number because lots of people who know him say that he was a great singer and an amazing musician, but he was actually a better dancer. He was the best dancer in the world. What do you think about that? He was, I was in the room at the Grammys in New York City when it was at the, what, Chandler, Dorothy? I can't remember. Anyway, when he busted into the to the moon, uh, moonwalk, wearing the sequin jacket, no one had ever seen it. And you would have thought a lightning bolt went through the room. It was the weirdest, most exciting thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Seriously. To see somebody do something that nobody has ever I mean, even thought of? Yeah, I know. That looked like it was defying gravity. He was just, he was brilliant. He was absolutely brilliant. And to see him live with the combination of, the, you know, his his writing talent, his vocal talent, the aura, his presence, and then the dancing and the mm-hmm. stage. It was the best thing you could ever see on the planet. It was. I was so lucky. And yeah, and yeah you saw it from the I stage. was a school teacher like six months before. Oh, Chris, goodness. slap me. <laughs> Tell us about your last day at school before that happened. Um, well, I was singing jingles. Yep. I did a McDonald's spot mm-hmm. and I thought, well, I'm going to move to LA. So I gave my notice and I went home and I told my parents, I want to move to LA. Yep. That was a Tuesday. And mm-hmm. they said, what? When? I said, I'm leaving Sunday. 
<laughs> and I drove out there and didn't know anybody. And that, yeah, and I crashed that audition about six months later. And, okay, now, yeah. what do you have to thank most for your success? Is it the favorite, your favorite guitar that you write all your big songs on? And that seems to have some kind of magic in it. You're almost like co-writers uh, in, in a way. Or is it um, down to your dad and his trumpet or your mum and a piano? Um, wow, that's hard. I give. I think it's just that I won't go away. Right. It's just that you know I just don't. I. It's like you can you can tell me no, and that is a dare. Um, but there was but yeah, music but my parents, there, my there? parents, absolutely, they played music all the time. I mean, they not, they not only played it on the Magnavox, but they played it like they they came home with their friends after gigs and. Listen to music and danced and played along. So is this and, gigs you know. they were watching or gigs they were playing? No, at? they played. They Did played they in like a little swing band. Oh, see? And I know. Right and we would lay on the stairs on the other side of the wall, mm. and they'd be like, "Go to bed," but we'd still we'd bring our pillows down and lay on the stairs so we could watch them and hear them. So and, it's always around you this music thing. Yeah, that's where the magic comes from. Yeah. And did it rub off on your siblings? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. In fact, all, there are three of us girls. We all got our degrees in classical piano. And uh, my oldest sister moved to Nashville and wrote some songs, and then she got into the music business, business part of it. My other sister um, is still teaching, and um, yeah, and my little brother is very musical, but he didn't go that route. All right, okay, well, this new album's out now. Uh... <laughs> What's the matter? What's that? Was I putting you to sleep? <laughs> no! It's and then I not wrote. Not at all. No, I, lo- are you, are you st- I could talk to you all day, because every time I read an interview with you or I, I watch one or listen to one, I think it's so much good, because you've got a proper story, and also you just naturally got to float. Look, you come in here, you sit down, and we're having a conversation, and it's flowing, and it's just, for me, I know that the listeners are going to enjoy it, because it just flows, Aww. you know? Plus, or, I've known you for like 900 years. I know, it's incredible. Yes. Uh, th- and now, am I... Am, am I in your life, am I BR or AR? BR or AR? What yeah. does that mean? Am I before ranch or after ranch? Oh, oh, way before am ranch. Am I before ranch? Oh, way oh. before. You're one of the reasons I have, have ranch. ranch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, right, Cheryl's going to play for us live after half eight if we can stop talking, which uh-huh, may not happen, uh-huh, so we'll uh-huh, see. Uh-huh. Uh, Age 17. Uh, the brand new Cheryl Crow album is out now. Cheryl Crow, Be Myself. She's playing in London tonight. You're playing in Manchester as well? To, I am at the Albert. Okay. All right, okay. Now, yes. I thought they got that wrong because there is an Albert Hall in... I know there's an Albert Square in Manchester, but is there also an Albert Hall? I should know this. There's an Albert Hall here in London. I'm not sure. Is there an Albert Hall in London? I don't know. Well, anyway, you're playing somewhere I'm in Manchester. I'm playing somewhere in Manchester. You play anywhere. You don't care, do you? I don't care. Train station's nice. Parking lot. Well, that's now Cheryl Crow, Cheryl's new album, Cheryl Crow, Be Myself, out now, and it is a Crow classic. All right, so um, how come you get back to these songs? How come you come up with these songs? You've lived a life, and you're sort of going back to your roots with these, aren't you? Mm. They're, go- they're all gorgeous. I've run out songs. of things to do. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, no, I just I made the record exactly the way I made the second, third, and fourth records. Yep. My which buddy. Is, which is how? Which is how? Which is three people in the room. Yep. A drum programmer, uh, Jeff Trot on guitar, and me on bass. Mm-hmm. Wrote and recorded as we went, and it was just... And you know what else is crazy? You can relate to this. Took my kids to school in the morning. Yep. Went to the studio, mm-hmm. picked them up from school. It's great, isn't it? And ate dinner, and I was done. I mean, yeah. every day in school hours. That is rock and roll, people! I I'm know. telling you! It can be done, can't it? It can be done. It is survivable. And, be, <laughs> and you can still be creative and inspired. Because yeah. yes. when you first start, you think... You can't do that because it won't work. I but can it only be does brilliant work. between 2 a.m. <laughs> and 7.30 in the morning, and yeah. I have to be slightly inebriated. Off my box. Exactly. Um, it, it's so funny to hear these songs again. They're, they're all so lovely. So this guitar, um, this guitar, you say this is the guitar that comes up with all the right goods. So tell us about this special, special guitar that you've almost always used. Well, we lovingly refer to it as the little moneymaker. Right. Actually, that's not even true. You know, I do play that. That guitar has been on every song that has ever made me anymore money but i write mostly on bass right i mean so believe it or not so i have a bass i have an m85 it's 1974 i believe wow. guild and this whole record i, I wrote on bass except okay. for one song okay and you're very happy with this song aren't you very so very I'm, a- I'm very pleased with myself <laughs> the title of your next album exactly. please myself and i don't patch yourself on the back now i like myself no, so I'm kidding no it's true but that's the thing you've come out the other side that's what life's about isn't it you it know is. it's a learning curve um you don't know anything and then you start to know some things then you think you know everything then you don't know what anything means and then you realize that none of it means anything and just enjoy it I while know. you can i love my age so do i i do i love it i'm so happy you're I'm 
No, I'm kidding. Okay. I'm 55. Are you, no, I yes. you are not 55. Isn't it crazy? Get out of here. I no, look don't, no, so no, no, no. hot on radio. 55. <sighs> Yes. Right, right, well, there you are. So, method stays the same. Did the the room that you talked about? Yes. Please tell me this is at the new ranch. It's uh, it's in it, my studio is right above uh, the horse stalls. Oh, see. See how I do. Oh, Who what? lives like us? Me. I love the fact that you've built. You know, you've earned it. You've worked really hard. You've earned a few quid. And you thought, right, this is what I've always wanted. I'm going to go and get it. Just tell us a, a little bit about your ranch, please. Okay. So um, we moved there five years ago. I used to live way out in the country. I have two little boys seven and ten strange names but there you go <laughs> good one yes my um seven and ten they're very happy no we moved into town because i was always in the car we were always in the car going to karate or wherever it was like 45 minutes so we moved into town and we brought our horses and our longhorn cows and all of our we brought the bearded gecko the fish the guinea pigs the <laughs> all of it you know and we live in it like it's like it's like uh, Dr. Doolittle. But and I built a little writing room above the stalls, and then by the time we soundproofed it, it was a full-fledged studio. So that's what we record. All right, so um, li- livestock-wise, you had lots of things, but the chickens had to go, the or, chickens or they didn't just come went. into town. I mean, if you got, have you ever heard of the Beverly Hillbillies? Yeah. We literally like yeah, yeah, yeah. hauled all the animals right into the middle of Green Hills, which is like, you know, downtown Nashville. Mm. So, but so you're saying we this, left the chickens behind. You're you're confusing everyone because here's me saying describe your ranch and you saying well we moved into town and we built a ranch because of course your town's are different to our town. You couldn't Nashville couldn't fit a ranch is like in... a sprawling. Right. It's it's weird. It's a sprawling town. Like okay. the guy across the street has 200 acres, but yet we're five minutes from the mall. <laughs> Isn't that weird? <laughs> it's so weird. Yes. So you're here. You're back now. You're playing tonight. Are you still any good live? Am I still what? Any good? Oh, I'm f- I'm f- better than ever. <laughs> <laughs> right now, tell us about. Actually, you know, I will tell you, I I am enjoying playing more than I ever in my whole life. Good Isn't that so weird? Yeah, yeah. I feel so. Ugh, I feel so. Present. You feel so yes. present. That's the thing. And energized you see and it in liberated. Eyes. I love it. Good for you. Yeah. Now, tell everyone about the issue your guitarist is going to have being in the same room as Brian May, because there's going to be a problem. I don't here. know if he's actually going to be able to sustain. It's going to be a um, problem. Yeah, I, I think can, he might pass out. I can play A, C, and G if it's any help. He's going to be like a goat who just passes out. What's going you know? on with your guitarist and Brian May? Well, when they walk in, my guitarist is mini me of Brian May. Right. <laughs> And he can play. He can sound exactly like him. And um, we worship Brian May. I can see him in the hallways right there, and we worship him. I'm just gonna say it right here. Okay. All right. So we're, 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 I love you. There, I've said it. Okay. Now we know that, that your guitarist obviously idolizes. Would that be fair to say idolizes yeah, worships? Right? Yes, absolutely. Do, do, are we gonna have to keep? Him? As we all do. Are we gonna? I will say, but I don't try to. I don't try to emulate him. Yes. Okay. But but your your sort of respect, your love for Brian May isn't. Dangerous. Whereas I suspect no, your guitarist. No, it's not sycophantic. Your guitarist might. He be. shouldn't worry about my stalking, stalking him. But okay. my guitar player, we maybe might. a little. Okay, there right. might well, be a restraining a, order. A situation we have to keep our eye on. Yes, okay, exactly. Brian Security. On your digital radio. Six. Queen and Fat Bottom Girls joining us now on the show with Cheryl Crow. We've had Crow business. Talking about Crow classics. I know, I know. Okay, She's 3D jo- book. I know, I know. She's and jo- can we talk about Queen Monopoly? You've not made it until you have your own Monopoly game. I just have to set out a store so people know what we're talking about. But after that, fill your boots. Okay, so Brian May is with us. And Brian's got various things going on, as he always does. Uh, because um, I've got to tell you, he betrays his years. He is... Um, That's amazing. He's uh, 69, 69 years oh, of age. Okay. And, yeah, and talk, about, talk about hard work keeping you young. I mean, it's rock and roll hard work. You know, we're not fighting wars or saving lives here. But nevertheless, he never stops grafting. He never stops being excited about life. And he's got this uh, bra- brand new 3D uh, photography book out. And he's brought in Queen Monopoly for us as well. Thank you, Brian. This is amazing, Lots though. This, 3D, for you, this is Chris. amazing. I've never seen it. I'm well, just showing Cheryl the, the Queen in 3D book. Okay. Wow. Now, we're going to talk, now, we're going to talk about this extensively when we come back after the new Cheryl, by the way. You've got to get ready to play. You're on in 90 seconds. Okay. Because you have, have, to, pri- oh. have to prize your. Oh, now I'm nervous. Brian. Brian May is right I would, here. I would have played if I'd known. You see. Uh, would you? Yeah, of course I would have played oh. with her. Are you kidding? Are you oh kidding? Of course gosh. I would play with Cheryl. Yeah. Way to drop the ball, yeah. Chris. Yeah. Oh. Well, hang on a minute. We need to fire some a band member. Who do we fire? Who, who's... Well, no, it's funny you, you should you say that. Up, you, believe me, you don't want to mess up your songs. Flip a coin. No, I'll no. use this as a learning oh, curve. Oh, right, okay. Oh next All right. Uh, Brian May is with us. We're going to talk about everything he's up to in a moment or two. Cheryl's on fire, as you can hear. Liam Payne's still going to come in. Uh, Amber Riley's coming in. And Lynn's here with the travel. And I'm feeling very bad. <laughs> 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, live from Studio 6C, Cheryl Crow on her band! Yay. I just said Peter was so nervous that he had his guitar muted for the first it, half of the song. I don't believe he's that it's nervous. It's true. Morning, Peter. Well, good morning. Does well, she... I'm awake now. <laughs> <laughs> sounds, great. Yes. sounds great, Peter. Uh, sounds now great. that the headmaster is in the building, you're I awake know, right? now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. So Brian May is with us. That's Cheryl Crow and her band. And, of course, uh, they're going to be playing more songs. Brilliant. And Cheryl's just hanging around generally, having a good time. She's playing uh, the Shepherd's Bush Empire this Shepherd very Empire. evening. So I've got stuff to do, but I want to cancel it all and go there. Yes, and also, come. But come I'd love on. to I'd love to come. Love to come. Uh, good, clean family entertainment. Cheryl Crow is here. What are you going to play next for us? Oh, Cheryl? I am not following up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. I think you're going to go in the other room. Sorry. Sit you down, have, have a cup of coffee. Sorry about some this. friends, maybe. You have to. What are you going to play? We're going to play this single off my record. Um called Be Myself but right now I kind of would rather be Amber <laughs> oh no way no, no, no. Uh, is it time yeah, it's oh time. my god Woo! okay here we go alright All right. yes. uh, one two three
<laughs> Hang on, <laughs> Missy. Did you give it's it? Very nerve wracking in here. Did you give it a bit extra then because of this woman beforehand? Yeah, you it was did, very you? high pressure. I was like actually what was I was closing my eyes and squeezing. That that's what I was doing. Yes, you, you closing my eyes and squeezing. Right, Cheryl, that's right. You need to take Amber on tour with you just to up your game because that really that actually, was Actually, I'm, I'm gonna too. I'm gonna take Amber on tour and I'm gonna just like uh, bring her tea and water and you know. My and you can take Brian on tour to photograph it in 3D for you for posterity. <laughs> yes, although. He I does play, play the guitar. I little, no, I know, know that, but there, there he doesn't want know. a busman's holiday, does he? Let's not ignore the <laughs> yeah. obvious. I think you can bring Liam on tour because he can take a, t- take care of childcare now. He could because he. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good for I hear you're a new daddy. <laughs> what, do, what do you have? Yeah! Well done. <laughs> It's all his work, nothing to do oh, with his yes, message. Oh, yes, I know. Yes, <laughs> Look, exactly. Well, us blokes, we never get the credit we deserve for childbirth. Come on, you must know that by now. I know, I know. Okay, well done, Liam. How old is the wee one now? He is eight weeks and two days. And you, oh. don't, and you don't look that tired. Yeah, baby! Yeah, that is that was excellent! Thank you, yeah. thank you, thank you very much. That was so much. much better than I thought it was going to be. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> 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 no, no, seriously, it was, uh, that is fantastic. No, thank you. That is fantastic. Yeah, the story I told you before is what I had to tell the guy at Radio Disney so they play it on Radio Disney. Right, it's okay. about stripping the music down. Okay, babe. <laughs> Whatever you like, you've got to be happy with that. Yeah, I'm super happy. Super, super happy. I mean, like I say, I'm humbled that, that, that Ed even took a second of his time, <laughs> let alone spending hours with him to write the song. So you're pretty amazing. good too, though. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. No, thank you, you gotta say because it could be, it could be like it could be. Oh no, this is Ed Sheeran. No, it's not. It's definitely you with a hint of him, as opposed to him with a hint of you, which is the well, way he's it's doing. Be. He's doing the bit with the strip that down, but there's like a pitched his voice way down. I'm actually strip that down. See, mm. if Ed Sheeran no, wasn't no, so no. tight and paid for some more musicians on stage and some more guitars. That's my, maybe what he could sound like. That's his issue. It's a budget issue with Ed. It's not a talent issue. <laughs> <laughs> he must make more money than any... Uh, he Can you believe sta- it, though? It's he, amazing. He packs it's out amazing. stage with a guitar yeah. and two microphones and those yeah. pedals. Yeah, and then pedals. Yeah. But what he does with them... What's going on with the pedals? I saw him, I saw him oh. uh, in a House of Blues in, in Orlando. It's, it, 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 it's an amazing show to, to, to see. It's, it's great. great. It's, great. it's great. true talent. True okay, talent. Okay, now you're all over the papers today, as you would be, because that's, that's what they love to do. You give it. You gave <laughs> several interviews, um, and you've talked about fatherhood, and you talked about Cheryl. And mm-hmm. um, uh, the last time we sort of had a bit of a, an afternoon out was BC before Cheryl. Yes, BC it? before Cheryl. Was, uh, that's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, do you I remember love that? that. <laughs> that's amazing. Yes. And now we're, we, we, we we're also we were BB. Have before you and Cheryl that? been on the boat? We haven't been on a boat. Have you yes. been, not been on a boat? Yes. I thought you'd been on a boat. No, no. I thought yours was that boat with the sign saying, if the boats are rocking, don't come a knocking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's how that song was made. That's what can I say. That's what I thought was going on there. Now, look, my ears aren't musical ears. I listen to music all the time and I love music, right? But my ears aren't musical ears. Amber, what did you think of that new song? I loved it. I like the way that you like ride the beat. You have a great pocket. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it a was great awesome. Pocket. Is that what you call it? A yeah, when you were you, 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 you able to stay in a rhythm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's got a great pocket. I love that. Friend. I love Cheryl, the music. What did your musical ears think of that song? Oh, I think it's going to be a ginormous hit. Do you? Yeah. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank okay, you ready much. for that? Have you got time for a ginormous hit at the moment? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll factor it in. We'll have to factor it <laughs> in. fatherhood. No, I've got to say, I've got to say my, my missus couldn't be any more supportive of what I'm doing right now. I mean, obviously, she's been through it and done it herself. So, I mean, it, she's just loving watching. I just keep I, I mean, to keep picking up the phone to make sure I text back. I was asked to be a judge on the show that she was the result of. Really? I was, I was asked to be one of the original judges on that show, yeah. And I, I, I nearly did it. And um, they said, what would you call the band? And I said, because you're going to be in charge of the girl band if you do this job. I said, I'm going to call the band UK Girls. So she was nearly in UK Girls. She was nearly in UK Girls. Yeah. My, my, my. The girls that is probably better. <laughs> Brian, what did you think of Liam's new song? It's great. I think your voice is brilliant. Oh, yeah, it's a fantastic so timbre to it. Yeah, apart from being in the pocket, man. Yeah, <laughs> you are yeah. in the pocket. Yeah, That's the, the new phrase. I just found that out. It's the I'm, takeaway I'm phrase. Pretend, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm cool. <laughs> Can we put that in the chattersphere, please? Okay, hashtag. Pocket, hashtag what, the what's pocket. the phrase? Hashtag. In the pocket? Oh, in the pocket. Yeah. You're in yeah. the pocket, baby. You're yeah. in the pocket, or we're all in your pocket. She's There's, sure in the There's pocket. a lot of pocket stuff there, going there lots on. Lots of pockets. Right. Yeah. Cheryl, would you play us another song, please? Yes, I'm going to Would you rescue us from ourselves? Thank you. In the pocket. Here we go. Cheryl Crosby. This is like the whitest yeah. song of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Can you, can you sort of in the pocket it up a bit, please? Thank you.
a ride with a vending machine repairman. Said he's been down this road more than twice. He was found on intellectualism. I've never been there, but the brochure looks nice. Jump in, let's go. Part for radio. Oh, that was fantastic. <laughs> Bring him back the 20 year old hits. No, I know they don't deserve it, but give the boys in the band a shout. Oh, Damn yes, right. Peter Stroud over this, here. Yeah, this could be Hello. it for them. Come on, let's go. <laughs> yes, yes. Fred Eltringham on drums. Yay! Robert Ker- Kearns on bass and guitar. And Yay! high vocals as well. Yay! Very high vocals. Very good. Very <laughs> Suspiciously high. I don't think we've ever had a show where all the guests are musical. I don't think we've ever done that. You know, we've had we've had three and one and two and two and one and three, but we've never had all four. It's, yeah. it, and you can, there's something else going on. There's a different rhythm to the show today. It's got a musical <laughs> rhythm too. You can tell. You can tell. I We're think in the it's pocket. One of your best. We're, We're all in the, the pocket. pocket. Am I in it as well? Yes, you are. Never been in the pocket. You're over there drumming on the yeah. It's such a big pocket. Isn't it? It's nice pocket though. Comfy pocket. It's my favourite pocket of all time. <laughs> it's Amber's pocket and we're in it. <laughs> we're all marsupials today. 
<laughs> We're all the little worms crawling up from the little pocket. All right, thank you so much, Lynn. That's beautiful. Now, we must say thanks to all our guests this morning. First of all, Brian May has been with us. Okay. <laughs> What is Brian May up to, please? Well, Brian's book, Queen in 3D, is out next Thursday, May 25th. You can have a sneak peek in this weekend, Sunday Times. Yes, you can. All right, and that's the beautiful sound of Amber Riley. Maybe the greatest voice currently on the planet. <laughs> I don't think that's, that's overstating the fact. Liam, what is our friend Amber up to, please? Amber is in Dreamgirls, and the soundtrack to Amber's hit West End musical is out now. You can see Am- Am- Amber on stage as Effie White at the Savoy Theatre in London until October. Okay, all right, until October, and then you're done. Yes. You're moving on. <laughs> okay, you must be in such demand at the moment. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm up at seven today. <laughs> yeah. Well, good yeah. for you. All right, Liam Payne's been with us this morning. Show, what's Liam up to? Liam Payne, Liam's first solo single, Strip That Down, is available today, and I, for one, am going to go legally download it. I'm going to pay for it, Okay. <laughs> Okay, and of course, Cheryl Crow with her band, working hard this morning. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Brian, what's Cheryl up to? Yeah, Cheryl's ninth album, Be Myself, is out now. Cheryl plays London's Shepherd's Bush Empire tonight and Manchester's Albert Hall tomorrow. And Indeed. I'm going to try and get Woo. there. Thank you for being here today, Cheryl. Oh, my goodness. You my really pleasure. set the mood for the party, and it's been glorious. So thank oh, you so much. Oh, Chris. Good to see you. Good to, see Good to you. hang with you. Good to be with your friends. Yeah. You have see, fantastic s- friends here. I'll see you in another 20 years. <laughs> yes, 20 <All> years. Right. <laughs> what are you going out with? Uh, we're going to do a cover. Yes. We're going to do a cover of uh, one of my favorite bands of all time, um, Fleetwood Mac. Let's do it. Oh, go on, then. Oh, my God. Oh. Loving you. Isn't the right thing to do How can I ever change things that I feel If I could, baby, I'd give you my world How can I, when you won't take it from me What a lovely show. Thank you, team, for putting that show together. It was a pleasure to be part of your ace. We love you to death. Uh, Everybody listening, have a great weekend. Stay away from those bad people. They're not worth you. And we'll see you on Monday morning, half past six. Here's Cambridge. Thank you. That's great.